mamas need to know this. Once you find either a curriculum or something that works, just keep using it yeah. until it doesn't work anymore. Let's talk about simplifying our homeschool uh, because this is something that I think at this point, you know, it's it's kind of near in the end of summer. Lots of moms are planning for this next school year. We're not exactly sure maybe what it's going to look like. Maybe there's lots of moms out there who are really freaked out about what this year is going to look like. You've got your type A moms mm -hmm. who, you know, at the end of last year, they had everything already planned out and all the curriculum stacked up and, you know, they, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. Um, but I would say a large majority of moms are still, especially the new moms who are just coming into it, they're still trying to figure it out. And they're like, I don't know, it's so complicated because it can seem complicated and it can seem overwhelming. And it can be complicated if we make it complicated, but it That's can also it. be simplified if we make it simplified. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. talk about how you have simplified your homeschooling with your kids. Um, I think the main thing that I had to keep coming back to is what you originally said, to seek first the kingdom of God. And so I really had to pare it down because like you said, I was the one that was complicating everything. Yeah. <laughs> God had a much simpler plan for our life and for my kids. And I was the one that kept getting in the way. And so I tell moms all the time, my kids learn not because of me, but in spite of mm, me, because yeah. I was my worst enemy. I was the one that always got in the way. And if the kids were stressing out or if we were on overload, you know, schedule overload, it was always, right. always my fault because, you know, I was always afraid they were going to miss out on something or that class over there is so much better. So um, we always, when I started to pare things down is when we were able to actually breathe. Um, but I do think the first step in simplifying is going back to trusting in the Lord. Yeah. When you truly trust that the Lord's got this and he's called you, to homeschool and that you are exactly where God wants you to be, yeah. it's going to be okay. Right. It's going to be okay. Right. Um, and so for us, we simplified by seeking first the kingdom. So we always started with our Bible study and our family devotion. So that was a must. Um, I only picked one area of math that we were going to focus on that year. So it was never like this whole checklist of things that we had to do. So, you know, it was math, very simplified. Mm -hmm. um, and once, and this is a good one, once mamas need to know this, once you find either a curriculum or something that works, just keep using it yeah. until it doesn't work anymore. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every right. single year, especially if there's this new trend out there, there's this new curriculum out there, um, or everybody's using uh, this curriculum in your co-op. If what you're using is already working for math, just keep using it until it doesn't work anymore. Right. Um, and then read aloud was always our big thing. So mm -hmm. I pretty much read aloud uh, chapter books just for fun. We read our way through history. We read our way through science. Um, and so when I always tell moms, it was those three things. It was Bible time. Mm -hmm. It was read aloud time. But that encompassed pretty much, it hit every every area that we were learning about. And then we, we did our math. Um, and then for writing, our, my kids didn't have a formal writing program until they were well into middle school, high school, Yeah, because we just wrote something every day in our journals. And, you know, we talked about it. We had great discussions. And um, I think it was Ben Franklin that said the best writing program out there is to read. Yes. So yeah. I figured by the kids reading and me reading to them, yeah. um, that was really the best uh, writing program. And like I said earlier, I was very Charlotte Mason too. So um, copy work, we right. did a lot of copy work. And, and that was one way to, to really just simplify. They just wrote a sentence or we would diagram one sentence. You diagram um, with your kids? Well, <laughs> not. Well, remember, I was classical too That's right. for a while. Yeah. So, uh, but it wasn't like crazy diagramming. Like maybe once a month, um, I would just diagram a sentence with them just so we could like parse it out, yeah. talk about the different stuff. But my son was always, whew, I don't care about this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was just all very simple. Um, and I love schoolhouse rock because really what taught my kids grammar was schoolhouse rock. Yeah. So we watched a lot of those videos yep. and that's how they learn about their nouns and pronouns and stuff like that. But yeah. um, the, the more you feel like you have to do, 
the more complicated your homeschooling is going to be. Yes. And I can almost guarantee by the time you get to November, um, you're going to keep adding stuff um, to your homeschooling. And then it's just going to get more and more complicated. And then come February, you're going to hit that wall and yep. you're going to think something's wrong. And, and then you just start ditching everything. And so right. you might as well just keep it simple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because then you're overwhelmed and the kids are overwhelmed and everybody's stressed mm -hmm. out and it's no fun for anyone. And so, yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Keeping it simple is, is so important. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday.